Hi, I'm Bruce from uh, 3D Printing Systems and this is Hayden from Clone. Clone 3D Print. Um, we're here today to test out a few props. We've, we've decided to do a, uh, a test on a 15 horsepower Yamaha, starting out with um, the original aluminium prop, uh, which was scanned uh, on a Scan Master. Plus, yeah. Yep. Um, so we so we 3D scanned that. Yep. 3D scanned it, yep, so that basically uh, sits on a platform and rotates around while the camera takes several several photos of it um, and then turns it into a digital 3D model. So then the internal was, we had to CAD up the internal. The internal spline and everything, a little bit hard for the camera to get right in there and get a, get a good view, so um, so that's simple to CAD up. Yeah. Um, and then those two, uh, those two images are meshed together to, to create the, the whole prop. Sounds good, okay, so what have we got next? So the uh, so we've got a range of different materials that we want to try. Um, starting over here, this is polycarbonate. Um, wow. this, this still has a bit of support material left on it, um, which we can break away. Um, we just wanted to show what, what that looks like in the... Look that. Super easy. That feels strong. So um, the, the scan just turned out fantastic. Every little detail was, was pulled out. Um, and it just looks really good. So polycarbonate. Polycarbonate. We got a PLA wood uh, mix. Oh, oh, a, wood a mix. wooden boat propeller. Yep. We, that's uh, hey, that's the way they used to do it back in the day. So no, I think that was an oar, wasn't it? Oh, that was an oar. Yes, you're right. <laughs> same same propulsion system. <laughs> okay, I don't okay. think that's going to do so well. Well, that, yeah, it might be surprised. It feels really strong. Um, it, it it certainly looks good. It. Uh, Post processing on this, we did a, we did sand it a little bit, and I put a, a an outdoor uh, lacquer, like a deck stain, basically, just to um, help help protect it with the water, yep. maybe make it last a little bit longer. But um, that turned out really well. Okay, next up. And this one here, a safety prop. This is uh, <laughs> uh, ABS, um, printed in bright yellow, just to keep them all looking different. But um, that one. So if you're a scuba diver, that's the one you watch out for. That's the one you watch out for. Yep, perfect for your buck. <laughs> Um, and the last one here is a um, carbon, fiber. carbon fibre, that's right. Carbon fibre, oh that's going to do the best. Yeah. I'll bet you a case of beers that's going to A case of beers, win. hey you're on, you're on. Oh, I, th yeah? I, think, I think we're either the wood or the polycarbonate, the so. Yeah, I think there'll be one laughing at you and the wooden one uh, yeah, fails okay. and shatters into a thousand bits. Yeah, well hey, it'll be dramatic and we'll catch it on camera, so. Yep. Okay. We'll get back at you, we'll set up the rig and we'll test out these props. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so we're going to start out with the carbon fibre PLA uh, propeller. First one, we'll slide this on. The washer in behind there. Um, you want to get those beers now, Bruce, or uh, do you want to wait until we test the uh, the props that'll actually work? Uh, <laughs> That's not bad, though. That's not bad at all. I mean, hey, if you were stuck at sea and you needed a prop to get you home, it'd get you home. Safety uh, divers propeller. So on here, and we'll see how this one goes.
That looks as good as what we put it on. So this can make it to the next phase of our test. Oh, phase. absolutely. This will go on the boat. Yeah. That is a really good fit. Yeah. Um, hey, it all comes down to good scanning and, and good CAD abilities. Um, just working out the right tolerances and. And I mean, hey, that, that wash has been coming off with the uh, with the propeller every time and it just slots out like it's a perfect fit. Snap lock, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. And this is like being, you know, that, that centre core was catted up. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of the prop, you know, it's, it's spot on for yeah. the scanner to achieve that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, next, let's next get prop. on to the next prop. What's yeah. the next one? Either the uh, polycarbonate or the wood. Which one you want to go for? Let's go for the wood, Mark. Wood, right. So why won't it go on properly, Hayden? So I've um, I've liberally coated this with a with an exterior lacquer. Oh, you're uh, cheating! I'm che hey, it's just trying to keep the water out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some wood on wood action. There she goes. Absolutely no issues with it, no delamination. But it's better than the carbon fibre. Better than the carbon fibre, who would have thought? Oh my gosh. Hey, if you want an engineering plastic, wood's, wood is what you're after. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> so Hayden, what's up next? So the last one we've got in the lineup is the polycarbonate. This one's still got a bit of support material on there. This came out of the printer. For, for those of you that want to see how easy it is to, to remove the support, um, you know, that's a solid piece of support. This, these are all the structures inside. Just as simple as that. That's quite amazing, eh? Yeah. And this is what uh, bulletproof glass is made of. A absolutely. So yep. if we shoot through the water into the prop <laughs> for James Bond movie, we should be good. We should be good, absolutely. Right, let's okay. give it a well. Yeah, so I'll be most uh, most embarrassed if this doesn't work as well as the uh, wooden propeller, being yeah. a, a real a real engineering plastic. Obviously the tank empties out pretty quick, but but hey, that was nearly full throttle, and I really uh, think that'll work as a as a replacement prop. So we're all set for the test. Okay, time for the ABS prop. going out there trying to get up on the plane giving it a bit more horsepower and um, just felt the, the prop lose grip so we'll see what uh, see what's happened that's it so that's in gear we can see that the shaft isn't moving the propeller is so is it cracked oh yeah it, it has it has cracked um, and it has spun the bush inside fixed up the PLA wood um, I think this is going to do well.
this. Yeah, that's uh, that's impressive. Okay, so so we got back, just got back, cleaned off the bite, washed it off. And what was the problem? Why didn't it uh, spin so well? So we got a we got a spline in in the centre. Um, and, and this is something that you would um, work on with a prototype or something like that. I mean, you test it and you find out how it would fail and you can make improvements on it. Um, the spine in here actually only goes halfway down the prop. Um, now, this is fine for, for an aluminium prop, but, but for, you know, for, um, we're pushing to the limits with, with, with this. With a wooden prop. With a wooden <laughs> prop. Um, so those spines only, only go to about here. And, and they only had contact of about maybe 20 mils. So, um, so that contact wasn't enough, and, so and, and just it's it, spun it completely yeah. off. Yeah. And we can see when we look inside that the, the splines have been cleaned completely off. Now, you know, hey, you make a couple of small improvements with that. Um, for a wooden propeller, it, it shows no sign of stress apart from low so, splines. So the fins are all good? They all look good, everything looks great. Um, so, the, so just to summarise now, uh, so a wooden one kind of, kind of could have passed. Yeah, yeah, I, th I, I think so. With just a minor improvement, and wood's the, good. And the ABS one? The ABS uh, was not quite as good. It wasn't as good as, as what I thought it would be, but. Um, because I think we had a crack line. On we had a crack line in the in the ABS one. Um, plus, it spun the, the the shaft as well. As well. Um, yeah. So that didn't perform as well as this one. Yeah, carbon fibre completely out. Com of it. Completely out. Yeah, that yeah. didn't even make it past the tank. So polycarbon at number one. Number one. Yep, we got uh, a good run with that. We oh, I didn't have to paddle beers? home. <laughs> <laughs> are you a case of peers? <laughs> And um, number two would be the would be the PLA wood. PLA wood. Number um, three is ABS. ABS. And four is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Now yeah. we were we were going to try a nylon one. Yeah. Uh, but the getting support material off the nylon one proved to be more of a challenge than it's, it's worth. So uh, we left the nylon one out of it. Maybe next time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a nylon I'm sure would have worked great, um, but but it, like you say, it's it's very difficult to remove the support material, and because of the shape of the prop, um, we needed to use a lot of support material. Okay, well, um, I'm I'm off uh, to to design up a, a chainsaw. Excellent. Uh, and I'm going to print it in wood and cut down a forest. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> Till next time. Till next time.